Now to more emotional victim impact statements on day two of the sentencing hearing for the confessed East Area rapist. Joseph D'Angelo got a surprise visit in court today. CBS 13's Adrian Moore live in the newsroom to explain. Curtis and Elizabeth, that surprise was his former fiance, Bonnie. Investigators believe her breakup with D'Angelo decades ago may have triggered something that led to his violent crime spree. She was the guest of one of his local rape survivors, Jane Carson Sandler. If Bonnie were able to speak, Joe, she would want you to know that as just a teenager 50 years ago, she broke her engagement to you when she realized that you would become manipulative and abusive. When you thought you could kidnap her and force her to marry you, even a gun pointed at her face could not make her choose you. When she saw who you really were, she was done with you. I can see that I hate you, Bonnie, was a result of your frustration because you lost control over her, but she bears none none of that responsibility for your violent choices. And we consider her one of us, the sister survivors of your malicious attacks. When you are wheeled away to begin your sentence, you re you'll return in Bonnie's life to that forgotten and insignificant place, gone from her life forever. Ah. Pretty powerful. Just like we saw yesterday, D'Angelo sat motionless in court showing no reaction and no remorse. Victim impact statements will continue tomorrow with family members of his murder victim set to speak. D'Angelo will be sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole on Friday.